Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Money. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today we're going to take a look at the RX 5700 XT. As you can see the fans are failing on this card and I will need to send it into our suppliers for repairs or replacement. Before I send it through, let's take a look at the performance of the RX 5700 XT. This is an XFX RX 5700 XT. Uh, these cards only came with a two year warranty, so this card is almost out of warranty as well, so it's best to send it away before it expires. Let's take a look at the performance, power consumption and efficiency of this card. Let's get into it. Today we're going to be testing the RX 5700 XT with G minor 2.99 and test four different algorithms BTG, Ethereum, Ravencoin and Zalash which is Flux. We're going to be testing the overclocks and undervolts versus the stock settings and compare the hash rates, power consumption and efficiency between the two. Before we get into our video, a word from our sponsor. ggminer.co.za is an online store based in South Africa specifically for mining hardware, where you can find mining power supplies, cables, mining frames, mining motherboards and risers to build your mining rig. For more information, email contact at ggminer.co.za or click on the link in the description below. Now, I've tested all these algorithms and only four of them actually work with the RX 5700 XT. So let's start with BTG. We are running stock clocks. Core voltage we can drop down but we'll do that later on. Uh, we're not decreasing our power limit. Core clock is at 2069 megahertz. Memory clock is at 1750 and we pushed up our fan speed to 100. So let's get into our benchmarks and tests. So we will be testing BTG first to see what our hash rates will be. Okay, so we've given it about four minutes to auto tune. We're looking at about 60 souls per second at 192 watts and the efficiency is at 0 0.31 souls per watt. Let's move on to our next algorithm. Next algorithm that we are testing is Ethereum on G minor. Okay, so this one we've given about two minutes and the hash rate seems stable. So we're getting about 53 mega hash at 172 watts and the efficiency is 311 kilo hash per watt. Let's move on to our next algorithm. Next algorithm that we're testing on G minor is Ravencoin or the Kapow algorithm. The hash rate has settled on 21.16, 21 21.19, so 21 mega hash per second at 216 watts with an efficiency of 97.98 kilo hash per watt. Cards actually running quite hot. This is a core dependent algorithm, so it's understandable that it is getting hot and and two of my fans are failing on the on the graphics card so understandable let's move on to our next algorithm the last algorithm that we are testing is Zalhash which is used for flux okay we're settling on 31.1 souls per second at 197 watts which is a efficiency of 0.16 souls per watt this card actually does use quite a bit of electricity if you don't optimize it. Let's get into the numbers when it is overclocked and under volt. Um, so what we will be doing is we're going to be dropping this down to 800. We're going to drop the power limit to minus 50%. The core clock we can probably drop it down to 1500. And uh, we can't really overclock the memory that much, so we're going to push it up to about 1800 and take it from there and run these four algorithms again. 
Once we have all the numbers, we'll put it into a graph so that you can see the difference in hash rates, power consumption, and profitability. So we've set our core voltage to 800, our power limit to minus 50%, our core clock to 1400, and our memory clock to 1800. Fan speed at 100%. And let's see what our hash rates are going to be. And this is on BTG. With our stock settings, we got 60 souls per second at 192 watts. 0.31 souls per watt was the efficiency. So let's see how much it actually drops. Okay, we're getting about 44 souls per second at 75 watts which is actually great compared to 192 watts and our efficiency is 0.59 souls per watt instead of 0.31 let's see if that is going to change you guys are probably wondering why i'm actually doing a benchmark on the rx 5700 xt this is one of my most efficient cards but because of the fans that are failing, I have to send it in and I might not get it back. So if I don't get it back, I won't be able to kind of test the benchmarks on this graphics card. We got 45 souls over there, 44 souls. But I'm liking the power consumption, which is around about 75, 76. Definitely one of my most efficient cards. Okay, it's been running for three minutes. We've got 44 souls per second at 74 watts and an efficiency of 0 0.60 souls per watt, which is actually great. Let's move on to our next algorithm. Okay, so Ethereum, which is the most popular algorithm that everyone's mining at the moment and probably only until August 2022 when the merge will be happening. Let's see what our hash rates and power consumption will be. Okay, it's been running for about two minutes. Our hash rate is at 55 megahash per second at 84 watts with an efficiency of 654 kilohash per watt. I've tested this on Hive OS and I can't seem to get this down to 800. I think 875 was the lowest, so I couldn't really get to this kind of efficiency um, on Hivo S I think I got about a hundred and four watts or about a hundred watts that was the lowest that I could get I might test it again just to make sure but this is the lowest that I've seen that I and that I can get which is on Windows 84 watts with an efficiency of 654 kilowatts per watt I don't think much cards are this efficient let's move on to our next algorithm next algorithm is Zalhash which is used for flux and Zalhash you probably have to use more um, core or more power to get higher hash rates but I'm going to leave it at 50% power limit and core voltage of 800 Let's see what our hash rates will be. Just to put it into perspective, with no overclock and under volt, we got 32 souls per watt. We're definitely going to see a decrease in hash rate, but how efficient is it? So at the moment, we're getting 23.2 souls per second instead of 32 at full power using about 75 watts and a efficiency of 0 0.31 souls per watt our efficiency with no overclock and under volt was 0 0.16 so it's actually double efficient hash rate has dropped from 22 23 and we definitely see a decrease in power from 198 to 75 watts Let's take a look at what to mine to see how efficient these algorithms are and what our profitability will be. Before we get into our profitability, let's look at what our coins are doing at the moment. So Bitcoin is trading at $31,323. Ethereum is at 
Ethereum is trading at 1861. Ethereum Classic is trading at 22.21. Okay, so we filled in our hash rates and power consumptions for the four algorithms. Uh, we've got Ethash, Zhash, Zalhash, and Kapow. We are using about 18 cents per kilowatt. If you're using about 10 cents per kilowatt, your profitability will be a bit higher than what we're actually getting. Ethereum is the most profitable algorithm on this graphics card at 85 cents after electricity or $1.22 before electricity. Your profitability is 0 0.0007 Ethereum per day. Our next algorithm is Kapow, which is Ravencoin. You're looking at about 22 coins per day and profitability at 62 cents before and 24 cents after electricity. BTG, we're looking at 14 cents after electricity. Oh, Flux is right at the bottom and it's not even that profitable. 36 cents before and 3 cents after electricity. So now we can actually see after the merge, what will our profitability be on this graphics card. So Ethereum will fall away. Ravencoin is going to be the next algorithm or next profitable coin to mine. And we're looking at 24 cents, which is not actually much, eh? Hmm. I'm sure Ethereum Classic will probably be just as good. So what will you be doing with your RX 5700 XTs once the merge happens and you can't mine Ethereum? Leave a comment down below of your thoughts. Hope you found this video informative and insightful. This is part one of three parts. I will be testing out NB Miner and Team Red Miner on this graphics card as well. So don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.